Good morning, Wired fam. Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to another episode of Wired for Crappie. Hey guys, real quick, smash that subscribe button if you hadn't already. We got a 10,000 subscriber giveaway coming up. When we get to 10,000 subscribers, we're gonna give away a two day fishing trip in East Tennessee with me on the water, two different lakes, Saturday and Sunday, to one lucky subscriber. We'll be paying for your trip, for your motel, and for your fishing license. The only thing you'll have to pay for is your fuel and your food while you're here. What we're gonna do today, we're on Fort Loudon. We're gonna shoot some docks. Six foot ACC crappie stick, Fluger Tryon, size 25 reel. Four pound, vicious, high vis. High vis is very important when you're shooting docks, guys. And I'll tell you why. Because you, a lot of times they hit it on the fall and you need to be able to see that bite. You need to be able to see that line jump, okay guys? So we're gonna take our six foot ACC crappie stick. It's summer, it's July. We're gonna go try to catch some fish on docks. Fish get under docks in the summer for shade. So we're gonna go try to catch a few. We're gonna use, we're gonna start out the day with 16th ounce head with a pumpkin and chartreuse bonehead tackle stump bug, okay guys? So let's go see if we can't catch a few. We're gonna show you some live scope too today. So I've got my new 1222 guys, and I've got the helm feature now where I can record my screen. So we're gonna show you some of that as well. Um, that way you guys can see what I see on the screen. It's gonna be a good day. I think we're gonna catch a lot of fish. Let's go see if we can't catch a few. We'll be right back. All right guys, so we're back. We're on a dock, we've got some fish on it. I'm gonna show you guys real quick on the screen what I'm seeing, okay? So as you can see, we've got bait fish on this dock. And we've also got some fish that are suspended out to the side of the dock. And we've got some fish that are suspended on the poles underneath the dock, which you can see now. See if we can't catch them. There's one. Fish on. Oh, little bass. <laughs> All right. So you can see the jig falling. down to the brush pile. Okay, we're down to the brush pile. Fish moving. There he is. There he was, guys. Man, I hope y'all got to see that fish move. That fish moved five feet. little fish there he is this is a good fish right here good fish guys had my camera off hope you guys saw me set the hook on that one. Oh. Let's see if he's 10. I've already thrown back a couple keepers. Ugh. I don't think he's gonna be 10. Nope. Just short. All right, so some of you guys may be wondering, how'd I find this dock? Because I've never fished this dock before, okay? So how'd I find this dock? Well, it's easy. I got on my Navionics. I looked for docks that had the depth I wanted. 
Once I found those docks that had the depth I wanted, I knew where I wanted to fish. I just came and looked at those docks. Right? My bait tank. There we go. So it's really easy to find those fish in the water that you want, the depth you want. For the time of year you're fishing. So we know we're fishing summer pattern, right? We know those fish are down there deep. These fish are 22 foot deep. It's a little fish right here. These fish are 22 foot deep on a little piece of brush that's under this dock. Fish. All fish are good fish, guys. Anytime you come catch crappie, especially when you haven't been somewhere, we came down here last week, or on the last video, but I knew there was more down here, and I didn't really look at docks last time I came, so I wanted to come look at docks. So far, it's paying off. All right, guys, I've done it. I switched it up on you a little bit again. I'm gonna tell you, I get chewed out all the time because I don't use crappie magnets. People don't think I use crappie magnets, but I do. I went to the black and chartreuse crappie magnet, guys. My stump bugs are back there in the back. I reached in my box. Eh, they're laying there. Why not? Why not? Give them a go. There he is. Feels like a better fish. Maybe. Nope. Another little one. We're gonna have to go find some bigger fish, guys. We caught the few keepers that were here. Now we're catching short fish. Bunch of them down there, though. One more fish to see if we can't catch a big one. Another short. All right, we gotta go find some bigger fish, guys. More ducks to be had. So 
what I like to do when I'm shooting docks, guys, okay, right about that last eye on your rod, you want to load that rod up, okay? Don't be afraid to load that rod up. That ACC crappie stick can take it. Load that rod up. You want to let go of your jig. I always hold the head of the jig, okay, guys? I always hold the head of the jig. I don't want to hold the hook. I don't want to hold the business end of anything. Head of the jig, open the bail. You want to load that rod up and let go simultaneously. So you want to let go with the jig just a split second before you let go with your finger. Okay? Get that jig way up underneath that dock. Fish on, guys. Fish on. Nice little crappie. So we had to work ourselves into it. Little bass, little bluegill. Oh, little crappie. And I got butterfingers today, guys. That's the second one I've dropped. Nice little crappie. Little black crappie. Come on back. Come on back. There's a little bit of brush under this dock. It's a better fish. Good crappie, guys. That's a purple and chartreuse stump bug. Calm down, calm down. Nice crappie right there, guys. That's nice black crappie. These fish are buried under this dock. They're actually under there about 30 feet, 25, 30 feet. Getting a jig back there is tough, but if you can get it back there, catch fish. Sure. There we go. That one got back there. Oh, yeah. Good fish. <laughs> I love it, guys. Summer crappie fishing in shorts, crocs, and they're inhaling it. Nice fish. I probably need to keep a few today. Got a fish fry coming up. I probably need to be keeping a few. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for today's episode. I appreciate you guys for watching. Go fish docks in the summer. They're very productive. They're a great way to catch fish, and it never fails, guys. When you're out there looking at docks and you're moving from dock to dock, you'll always come across brush piles. You'll always find new stuff like we did today. We caught some great fish.
got some for the fish fry coming this the end of this month gonna do a little family fish fry so got some fish for that go out there catch you some fish get out here in these summer months there's still fish to be caught it's a great time to catch fish like i said look at docks look at deep brush you'll find fish get out there on the water have a good time get yourself the acc crappie stick and some bonehead tackle stump bugs put it on them i appreciate you guys for watching as always god bless we'll see you later guys